Greetings and welcome back to our St. Constant Hill and Greek Orthodox Chapel. We're going to continue our lesson on uh, John the Baptizer and the Holy Forerunner of the Christ. Last time we spoke about how he looks similar in features to Jesus Christ. Then remember, the icon of John the Baptist is next to the icon of Jesus Christ on every Greek Orthodox iconostasium. That is because of his importance as the greatest saint born of woman. Again, he's not the greatest saint. The greatest saint for Orthodox Christians is the Holy Mother of God. As we look at John the Baptist, we're reminded that he's an ascetic, very disciplined. His features reflect that by him being darker and swarthier, by him being more her suit, by not wearing sandals, if you see icons of him full length. He's also not just an ambassador or a herald, but he's the one that paved the way as the forerunner. But ultimately, and as he is most best known, is that he's the baptizer of Christ, for he baptized Jesus Christ in the River Jordan. Jesus Christ, the Creator, God, submitted himself, bowed down, and allowed John, his creation, the one whom he fashioned with his own hands, to allow him to put his hands on his head and to baptize him in the water, in the water that he created. And John the Baptist did his part. Knowing that he was unworthy to come in contact with his God, he still did his part in humility and baptized Jesus Christ in the River Jordan. And then the Trinity, God, the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit was made manifest, was revealed at this theophany, this manifestation of God, this epiphany, this great revelation and appearance, because John did his part without question, for he was disciplined as a spiritual athlete. He would give his life as a martyr. He would give everything for his Lord and his God. He is the ultimate example, for he sacrificed everything and he trained himself for years in the desert to do his part. He could not be tempted. In a sense, he was angelic because he crucified his passions and disciplined himself to be not just a holy prophet, but a great ascetic and to be worthy to baptize the Son of God who became the Son of Man. O Aios, a saint, not of this earth, ah. Ioannis, Ioannis, the abbreviation for John, O Prodromos, the holy forerunner, the forerunner of God, the greatest man born of woman, who is commemorated on January 7th, the Synaxis, his Synaxis, the gathering of the people to honor him is on January 7th. Why? Because he is intimately, inextricably related to the great feast of Theophany, because Theophany is the baptism baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan, and he is the baptizer of Christ. John, greatest man, born of woman, baptizer of Christ. Cards of the thief.